Good evening. Hey, Gabby, can you hear me? Okay, good. Just making sure. All right. So let's get started. My name is Edwin Cubillas, and I'm going to be your teacher this module. This is for Intermediate 3. Okay. So uh, the idea is we are going to be. No, Gabby, you don't have to turn on the camera um, if you don't want to. If you want to, great. Um, but if not, it's okay. I understand. Sometimes it's for the internet that uh, some people find that the, it's a little slow or that affects them. Mm -hmm. No problem. Okay. All right. I see we have... Uh, Gabby, Carly, Carla, and Anna. Okay, well, welcome everyone. Um, we're going to get uh, started in just a second, but why? before we do, uh, why don't you introduce yourself and tell me a little bit about yourself. Anna, would you like to begin? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, Anna, I can hear you. Um, my name is Anna Rivera. And it, it is a pleasure for me to be here with you. <laughs> I, I want to learn the English. And, and I'm a mother of two kids. And right now, I'm very excited because uh, I want to uh, get better in, in the speaking and the listening. And I'm glad to be here. Okay. And okay. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How old are your children, Anna? Uh, my daughter, uh, she has mm, 19 years old, and my son, 15. Okay. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Hey, Carla, how about you? Why don't you introduce yourself? Sure. Good night. My name is Carla Manjimar, and I'm so glad and I'm so excited to be here because I think and I know that this is such a great opportunity to improve our knowledge about English. So I'm really excited to be here and nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, what do you do, Carla? Uh, well, I am a student, but also I work as a designer, as a freelance. A freelance for, for what? In designing. Ah, designing. In graphic designer, yes. Okay. So what do you design? Do you design like brand names, like their logos, or do you design like, what, what is it that you design? Uh, yeah, I work with some brands uh, with social media, and I also uh, take some pictures, everything related to social media. Great. And so I, I assume you're studying to be uh, a designer. Is it a graphic designer? Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, perfect. And Gabriela, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Gabriela. You can call me Gabby. I'm 18 years old. And I'm actually just a student. I want to learn more English. I want to improve my English so I can get better opportunities. And yeah, I think that's all. Okay, and what are you studying, Gabby? 
Uh, just English, actually. I'm starting university next year. Next year? Yes. Okay, and what do you want to study? Uh, chemical engineering. Oh, wow. So yes. you're, good, you're good with math. I kind of, yeah. yeah. I mean, it is important actually to know English with this career. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, it's because of the, the, the books and the science and everything is usually yes. in English. Mm -hmm. The biographies and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, great. Well, my name is, um, as I mentioned earlier, my name is Edwin, Edwin Cubillas, and I am going to be your teacher this module. This means that we are going to be together for 16 classes or four weeks. During those four weeks, we're going to cover five units. Those five units are really, um, they're already programmed and they're part of your course. So everybody should have access to them. Do you already have access to the platform? Do you have access to all of the lessons? Mm, yes. Yes. Right. Yes. And Anna? Okay, we'll assume that Anna also. All right, so this is what it, you will have. Um, you'll see that there'll be five sections and that means that actually, we actually have to do uh, a little bit more than one section a week. This is because there are only four weeks and there are five sections, okay? So that way you might feel that, oh, wow, we're going fast, but not really because it's uh, four weeks and five sections. Whenever you want to know what your grade is or how things are going, you're going to click here in the part where it says progress, okay? In the, clock with, in the part where there's progress, you're going to be able to see how your grades are. So here is, for example, for me, right? But for you, it's going to have your name and your email, and then you're going to see all of the things. You're going to see your sections, um, one, two, three, four, and five. Which, and then for each section, you're going to see how are your grades. You're going to see how was your uh, activity for the first one, the second, the third, okay? Now, when we're talking about activities, that doesn't mean all of the the videos and the things that we have in there, okay? The activities are actually only the ones that are graded. Those are the ones that you have to do, okay? Now, the, how do you know which ones you have to do? Well, all of them have this little thing, this little check right here, and that's called the knowledge check. And each unit, as you can see, will have about three of those, okay? Sometimes a little bit more. Here, we're gonna have a knowledge check, where it's gonna be 1.2, a knowledge check uh, 1.9 and then 1.10. So for each one of those, those are obligations. That's what we have to do. But to do those, we actually need to watch the things before. So uh, the first one where you have this little book here, it's only the objectives. That tells us the objective for each unit or for each lesson. And then we're gonna usually have a little video um, or a little bit of practice and then we can do the knowledge check. I'm not sure if this is your first time, but it's important that you understand how to use the platform. Are there any questions on how to use the platform? No, teacher. No. Okay. Okay. Um, is this the first time you have studied with a Inglés Cooperativo, or have you studied before? For me, it's the first time. Okay. For me, too. Okay, great. Well, then that's important why I, I explained the video, I, I explained how it works. Okay. So the best is, I'll, I'll explain a little bit more, but let me just check. Ana, is this the first time you study at Inglés Cooperativo? No, this is my, my third time. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Well, so we understand our, in that case, um, for maybe a little bit of repetition for Anna, but new information for Gavi and Carla. Uh, you are expected to get a minimum of 80 in your grades. So that means that for each exercise, those knowledge checks, you need to receive a minimum grade of 80. Now, if you get a grade that is 70 or 60 or less, 
is not a good grade, but you have the opportunity to repeat the exercise. So if you have a grade of 60 or 70 or another grade that is lower than 80, you can redo or do again the activity and then you can get 80 or more. So you need to have an average of 80 in all of the exercises. Okay. Is that okay? Any questions? Yes. yes? But I have a question. Yeah, Carla. I would like to know if there is a final exam or it's just about the activities? No, there are two exams. There is a midterm exam and there is a final exam. In this moment, I'll share with you so that way you can see um, in your screen how it would look. Okay, so for each section, um, we understand that there are several activities. When we get to section three, there's actually a midterm. The midterm is for uh, information about section one, two, and three. When we get to section five, there is a final exam. The final exam is all of the lessons, okay? So it'll be lessons one, two, three, four, and five. So you actually have two. So you have what is your normal homework or the normal activities, plus at the end, we'll take a look at this midterm just so you have an idea okay this midterm you can see it has five sections and there's going to be different things there's going to be a listening section uh rewriting sentences completing sentences uh, choosing the correct word um, and then finally a reading so all of those are for each one are there any other questions No? I don't think so. Okay, so let me ask you. So what is the minimum grade that you need in the activities? 80. 80, exactly. And what happens if you have a grade less than 80? We have to redo the activities. Correct, very good, Gabby. You have to redo the activity. That is the best way. Now, uh, many of you may sometimes people wonder about the uh, the attendance or the activities. the The course is designed so that uh, the attendance is not obligation. The, this means that if you want to, you can go onto YouTube and watch the class. Uh, for example, if today you couldn't come to class, you can go to YouTube and watch the class that is recorded um, tomorrow. Or if for some reason you can't work or you're not clear, you can watch the class again and see the explanations of the activities, okay? Also, this also means that if you, for example, you feel like, oh, this unit, I remember this unit, this unit is easy for me, or I remember this lesson, you can advance. It's not necessary that you have to wait. If you, if you want, today you can finish all of the lessons and then only come, only come to the class for the speaking practice. So it, in this case, it's very nice because you can advance or you can go back depending on how you are with your time, how you feel with the activities, if they are easy or difficult for you. Anybody have any questions now? No, everything is okay, thank you. Okay. Good, Carla. All right. So also, we when we are in class, we have um, many times what are called breakout rooms. For you, I think if you have your computer in in Spanish, um, or it, it's um, I think it's called like uh, uh, salas, salas, or uh, the grupos, or something like that. If you have it in English, it's called. Uh, um, like a little breakout room or a smaller room. Now, the reason I explain this is because we normally use it. I create an invitation, and this is like in the classroom. Like you can imagine if you were in the classroom and you had uh, to do activities with your partner, where well, you go into little groups. It's the same, but here it's electronically. So electronically, you, you go to another class 
and then you are in a small group, maybe only two of you or three of you, depending the class. And from this, then you do the activity, you speak, you talk, different things, okay? To, to have this or to go to these breakout rooms, you are going to receive an invitation. In this moment, I'm going to show you so that you can see, I'm going to send everybody an invitation and, okay, that way you can see how it's going to appear. So when I send it, did everybody receive the invitation? Not me. I can see it. <laughs> Carla, you didn't see it? Me neither, teacher. No, I can't. Okay, let's try it. One more. Let's take a moment. Let's try one more. Okay. I, I can got see it. it. Yes, I, I can yes. see. Yes, Carla. Yes, Anna. Yes, Gabby. Did you get it? <laughs> I think Gabby accepted and Carla accepted. Okay. All right. The idea was only for them to see, not to accept. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not a problem. So when you receive the invitation is necessary that you click accept and when you click accept then you go to the different rooms okay okay okay. <laughs> okay don't worry don't worry so the idea is those little rooms are for that for us to practice because sometimes it's difficult uh, today is small today we have only five students um, but sometimes we have 20 25 students that come to the class and then it's difficult for everyone to speak and then we use the rooms for that okay so remember when you i will always tell you okay we're going to make small groups and then you only accept the invitation and you can go to the small groups okay. do you have any questions for me or anything that uh you would like to know or you're not sure about Nothing. Do you have any questions? No, teacher. No. Okay. Rona or Oswaldo, do you have any questions? Oswaldo, did you have any questions? Yes, Oswaldo. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Yes. I yes, your internet is. Okay, no problem, Rono. I see you have unstable connection. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. It, sometimes it happens with the with the internet. But don't worry. If you lose connection, only you come back. No problem. Um, Anna, Carla, or Gabby, do you have any questions for me or anything that you'd like to <clears throat> me to answer? No questions so far, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Everything's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Well, then, in that case, excellent. Well, we are going to begin and we'll begin with our lesson one. Lesson one is actually about a passive voice, okay? Um, that is going to be our first activity, is going to be learning what is passive, okay? So for this, we're going to watch a small video, and then I'll explain. So let's first watch the video, and then I will explain if you have any questions. Hi, welcome to another module. This time we'll study passive with by. 
But before we go deep into the topic, let me tell you what passive voice does to a sentence. Passive voice changes the emphasis on a sentence. In other words, we may say the same thing in a different way. You may be wondering when to use it. Passive voice is the best way to express an idea when, number one, we don't know who did the action, number two, there's no doer of an action, and number three, the fact is more important than the doer of an action. As always, I will ask you to stay around and stay for the explanation. We will compare active with passive, so you see the difference and notice the emphasis on each one. We will give you examples of each use, as well as the structure of passive voice. Passive with by, simple past. The passive changes the focus of a sentence. For the simple past, use the past of be plus past participle. Active. The president opened the building in 1931. Passive. It was opened by the president in 1931. Active. An American architect designed the building. Passive. It was designed by an American architect. I have this scrabble sentence for you. My sister, this book, in 2010, wrote. Can you try to unscramble the sentence and make sense of it? I will give you 15 seconds. So in this moment, only think. What would be the correct way to write that sentence? Great. So we came up with, my sister wrote this book in 2010. Now in English, we can say the same things in another way. Let's work with another scramble sentence and let's do the same and scramble it and make sense of it. This time, I will give you 20 seconds. My sister this book by in 2010 written was okay so the same thing think about those words and what is the correct order Were you able to do it? I hope you did. This book was written by my sister in 2010. Now let's take a look at each sentence. In this first sentence, which by the way is in active voice, the emphasis is on my sister. It was not Susanna who wrote the book, it was my sister. This book was written by my sister this book is the object, was, was or were, written is the past participle of the verb, by, by, my sister is the subject. In this second sentence, we're using passive voice and the emphasis is on this book. The most important fact is that the book was written. Now let's write examples for the uses previously mentioned in our intro video. Remember? We don't know who did the action. My house was broken into on Friday. Who broke into our house? We don't know. Number two, there is no doer of the action. He was killed in an earthquake. There is no doer of this action. The last use, the fact is more important than the doer of the action. My dog was run over by a car. What happened to my dog is more important than the doer. Finally, let's go over the structure of the passive and simple past. Because we're using passive in simple past, this is what we'll use. Was, were, plus past participle. Before we go, we want you to work on the following sentences so you're able to practice. Our sentences are in active voice. Your work is to switch them to passive voice. Please write them on our discussion box. Number one, mom prepared the food. Number two, all the employees read the memo. Number three, the boy ate the cake. Okay. All right. So first, 
let's take a moment and let's see who we have. Okay. So what did you understand? What is the difference between active and passive? The passive changes the focus of a sentence. Excellent, Carla. The passive changes the focus of the sentence. Great. And in the passive, what is the focus of the sentence? Okay. I'll help you. In the active, the focus of the sentence is the person. What do you think is the focus of the sentence in the passive? The object. In Cor the object. Correct, Gabby and Carla. Correct. The object is the focus. So instead of I cooked dinner, the focus is on the object. Dinner was cooked. And then we use the word by. By is used to indicate who did it or by whom. So uh, dinner was cooked by me. That is the idea of the passive. The difference is change the focus from who does the action and put the object, uh, put them after and then put the object first. So it's just changing the roles, okay? So we are going to make small groups and in our small groups, we are going to discuss the three sentences that were given to us and we want to make them into passive sentences. Now, what are the three sentences? Those were the ones from the video. Mom prepared the food, all the employees read the memo and the boy ate the cake. Okay, so those three with our partners, we're gonna practice them. Carla, you okay? Oswaldo, you okay? I don't know why, but it's returning me to the main session. Okay. Let me try. Let's see. Let me send you to the other one and see if we can fix it like that. Okay, Oswaldo, you need to accept in order to go. There you go. Okay, so remember, you're going to do the three sentences uh, from the video. You're going to put them into the passive. Okay. Okay. When you finish that, then you are going to practice with your partner the 1.2, the knowledge check 1.2. So first the three sentences and then with your partner 1.2, the knowledge check. Okay. Okay. For example, the first question could be the full was prepared by my mom. mom. Yes. Okay. And the second, maybe the memo was read by all the employees. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and the third, the boy, the cake. The cake was eaten by the boy. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Great. Uh, so now that you have practiced a little bit the sentences, you're going to try 1.2 in the knowledge check in the platform. So with your partner, you're going to complete 1.2 using the passive. Okay. Okay. Eight by the ball, did you say? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Carla, can you repeat that sentence, please? I can... Gabby, can you repeat it? I think Carla had a problem there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, the cake was ate by the boy. Almost. I, I, that's what I thought I heard. Um, it's almost correct. You have the correct idea. But in the past, it, or ah, sorry, it's the past uh, yeah. participle. And so it's always going to be the past participle. In this case, was uh, eaten. Right, right. Was eaten. eaten. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's true. Okay. You guys can do 1.2 together. That's the idea for speaking and interacting. Uh, yeah, but I don't know if Carla has some trouble, so. <laughs> ah, yeah. okay, okay. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. I already did the activity. Mm -hmm. So, but I don't know if Carla did it too. I think maybe she doesn't have her microphone, maybe some kind of problem. But OK, so Gabby, did you have any any questions? Um, let me see. No, I don't think so. I think everything's OK. Yeah. OK, let me check the other group and then we'll continue on with the activities. OK. OK. All right. Let's thank you. Bye. Gustav's man uh, was directed by Steven Spielberg. Was he called? What do you think? It, what, what option? The kids. Uh, um, maybe was painted by Gustav Klimt. Hey, we, we can <laughs> so we can try. Okay. Um, the song yesterday was composed by. What do you think about? Well, was composed by George. Uh huh. That one. Okay. The films. Tumblr list was composed by Steven Spielberg. Was uh -huh, directed. Uh huh. Was yeah. directed. Uh huh. Yes, 
that 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 is what I put. The number four, I I know. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I read the, the book. You read the book? Yeah. I saw the movie. <laughs> I saw the movie too. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, great. I hope you had a chance to finish. I think most of you almost finished all. Um, do you have any questions? Is there anything about passive that is not clear? I'm good. Okay, Gabby, you're good. Anna? Okay, Nati? No, teacher, everything is fine, thank you. Okay, all right, and I think Carla's still having a little bit of problems, so uh, technical. Uh, I forgot, I think Oswaldo was the other one who, who had internet problem and I think he just lost connection. So, all right, well then great. So we understand the idea of the passive. The idea of the passive is to help us change the focus from who does the action to a, who receives the action, okay? Or from the subject to the object. Now we're gonna continue and we're gonna be looking at the idea of the letter O, the letter O. The O is actually just like most letters in English has two different types of pronunciations, okay? So this is from 1.4 and we're gonna be learning a little bit about the letter O, how to pronunciate it. Let's watch the video and then we'll discuss it. Hi, let's work on your pronunciation now. Notice how the letter O is pronounced in the following words. Pronunciation. The letter O. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how the letter O is pronounced in the following words. Not. Top. No. Don't. Do. Food. One. Love. Remember to play the audio program as many times as you need to. It is important for you to notice the difference on pronunciation. We want you to practice a little bit more, so pronounce the following words. Okay. So the first thing is, let's take a look at those words, okay? Do you know those words? Do you know what they mean? Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. So let's practice pronunciating them. Who would like to practice first? Um, me. Okay, Gabby, go ahead. Okay, um, come, luck, own, don, hot, soon, who, wrote. Okay, pretty good, Gabby. Only the second word is actually, a, it's la with an A, lock. Luck. Good, good. The other words okay. were, the other words were fine. Great. Uh, okay. Who would like to try next? teacher okay go ahead Nati. come look on gone hot soon who wrote good Nati. only the one with the word is own try with a with a stronger o not not so much of an a o own own okay good i think the the problem is for you is not at the beginning it's at the end the end because you only say O W, you say O, but it's own. Own. Yes, yes, Nati. Good. Okay. Great. Who else would like to try? You listen to me. Okay. Go ahead, Anna. Come, luck, own, don't, 
cut. So, who wrote? Okay, good. That was pretty good. Remember, the pronunciation, done. Done. Okay. Good. Uh, Ronald, or sorry, or... Do you listen to me? Yeah, yeah, now we can hear you. <laughs> Thanks. Come, lock, on, don, hot, soon, who, rob. Okay, the last one, uh, Oswaldo, with a T, the T, a stronger T, wrote, wrote. Wrote, Good. wrote. Good. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Anybody else would like to practice? I think I can do it. <laughs> okay, Carla. Come, locked, on, done, hot, soon, who wrote. Okay, good, Carla. Only the second word. Uh, it's not a T, no T. So it's going to be a K, lock. Lock. Yes, that's right. That's right, lock. Okay. I think that's everybody, right? Or I think that's, we were only four or five, so. Yeah, okay, that's great. Okay, so that's our pronunciation with O, okay? So the idea of our pronunciation with O is really to help us uh, just for conversations. When we're using the words, many times we tend to use the word O, like, or sorry, the letter O, like a no or not, or uh, different forms, donut, different ways that we use it, okay? So the thing that we're going to do now is we're going to make our small groups, remember? We're going to make the small groups, and we just want to practice using the passive, okay? So we're going to try to talk about our days, our activities, or uh, we want to talk about different things. If you can, use the passive, but the important is that we want to work on fluency and pronunciation. Okay, so we can ask more questions. I can say, oh, Gabby, what uh, university are you planning to go to? Or uh, Carla, uh, where do you work? Or tell me about your job. The idea is we want to practice this. So don't worry about the grammar and let's focus on speaking and feeling confident and fluent. Okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. So let's see. Do you, sorry, before we begin, do you have any questions um, do you, about how to make questions or how to ask questions or, or anything else that you want to know? Everything's fine. Thank you. All right. All right. Let's make our groups. Okay. Remember, focus on our fluency. Okay. Uh, and I don't know what are we going to do. Uh, we have to just have a conversation with passive. Passive in, in active voice. Yeah, passive voice with by and yeah. Did you, you do the, the exercises from um, the section 1.2? Oh, yeah. We can practice the answers if you, if you want. Oh, yeah, 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 we can do that. Yeah, you already did it. Okay. Um, the first ones. Where did I go, Jessica? Yes. Yesterday, I went no place. I stayed at home. Only rest. Yes, only rest. 
And you, Carla, did you go out? Yesterday. I can't even remember. <laughs> I can't remember now. I think I stayed at home, actually. You didn't go to vote, Carla? Oh, no, didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I didn't remember that. I I did go to both teacher. <laughs> you didn't go to Were yes. you at both? Yes, I, I went in, in the morning. Very 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 early. Mm -hmm. And you Ronald, did you go to both? Yes, yesterday in the morning I went at the school um, near of my house for about. But um, I I saw a lot of people in in, in that school. It's very uh, It was very difficult um, for a big. Um, Hello, Henry. How are you? Window and the the cars are passing by in front of my window. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's okay. Uh, I think it doesn't. It, it isn't noisy. I think. Okay. Uh, did you do the three sentences from the last video? Yes, the, the three sentences that, that we have to pass in the passive voice. You have to change with passive voice, yeah. Yes. Yes, did you do? Yeah, I, I, I did it too. I think we can see if we have the same, the same sentences. Okay, the first one was mom prepare the food. Yes. And the food was prepared by my mom. By my mom, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we really like that too. Uh, the second one is all the employees re read the memo. And I had it like the memo was read by all the employees. Yes. I didn't finish the, the third one. Uh, the third one is the boy ate the cake. Uh huh. And uh, I would the like cake the cake was eaten. Yes, was eaten by the boy. Okay. You already finished. Yeah, me too. You know, Gabby and Anna, it's great, but you guys can just go ahead and have a conversation about normal things. You don't have to worry about the grammar. Remember, the objective is to help you with fluency and pronunciation. Uh, just um, like normal things? Yeah, like normal things. Like, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. Like, Anna, where do you work? Uh, what food do you like? Uh, have you seen this movie? Did You know, just normal things. Oh. Okay. okay. That's great. We can. Uh, I like to play uh, basketball. I like to swim. I like to run. Uh, football, more or, more or less, but mm, swimming, maybe and running, those are my favorites. And I like to go out, 
meeting new places. A little bit of that. Did you know, practice any sport this week? Yes. Hello? Uh, I, I went out to run. Now and every day. Every day. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> What about you, Rana? Um, my favorite hobby is, well, uh, I, I am a lifeguard of the Red Cross. I swim. I am swimming. Swimming. Oh, okay. Yes. That's very interesting. But, oh, yes. But um, nowadays, uh, we don't practice this because the pools are um, close, again, okay? close. And we are only, only exercise, only exercise for maintains the form. Okay. Yes, but and you have long long time doing that. How many years? How many? Uh, twenty years. <laughs> yes, a lot of years. That's very good. Yeah. Twenty years. Um, in the Red Cross, but um, the lifeguard teams. Um. Uh, 50, 50 oh, years. That's so interesting. Interesting. Yeah. 15, 15. 15 years. Yes. But it's the, the ex exercise um, for, for to maintain the, the healthy. Healthy. Okay. The swimming, swimming, swimming. What else did you do this week? Repeat again. What else did you do this week? This week? Yes. No, this week, no. <laughs> the past week, yes. Past, past week. So this week you stayed at home. Repeat me. This week you just stayed at home. Yes, but in my house. <laughs> okay. Only in my house because the pool are closed. Oh right. yeah, I think it's because of the cook. Or no? Yes. Uh. <laughs> no. And, uh, because she need to focus on her studies and on her career, right? Yeah. Career. That's right. I think like that too. Either. Yeah, because, but. Is eighteen years is the <laughs> best age that you can can try something, you know? Yeah, no, like new things and all that stuff. Yeah. Yes. And do you have brothers or, or sister? Yeah, I have one older brother and one sister. One younger sister. I'm the middle child. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, I have 11, 11 brothers and sisters. <gasps> wow. <laughs> yes. my, my mom had seven girls and five boys. Wow. Yeah. And and you're like 
uh, the the younger or yes, um, or like I'm the one of the younger. Oh, yeah, but um, I have three sister uh, younger than me. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, but. In the pandemic, I lost one brother. And yeah, I see. That's hard. Yes. Right now, only. In my Eleven. case, yeah, in my case, I think I have the, like, the fortune or, like, the lucky that I didn't lost anybody. Anna, Gabby, any questions? No questions so far, teacher. Okay. Everything's good, thank you. Okay, great. Just wait just a few seconds for the other group. Okay. There we go. Okay. Do you guys have any questions? Carla, Nati, Oswald? Nati? Thank you. Okay. Okay. So as we can see, the we have a couple of things that we learned today. Today we learned a little bit about the passive. Uh, we learned a little bit about the pronunciation for the letter O, and then we learned a little bit about our partners. So I'd like you to tell me, what did you learn about your partners? What's something that you didn't expect that you learned about the person that you were working with? Uh, in my case, I didn't expect that. She's like my mom's age. <laughs> That surprised you? Yeah, she's almost like my mom. Okay. But, yeah. <laughs> okay. You're, you're surprised because you say, oh, wow, and she's learning English. And my mom, she's at home sitting down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's watching TV and yeah. Uh -huh. And you say, well, wow, if <laughs> my mom yeah. could be, yeah, your mom could be learning English. She just, yeah. she doesn't want to. Mm -hmm. But she's just there watching TV. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Good. Anybody else? What did you learn about your partners? Hello. Yeah. Hey. Yes, Anna? I didn't expect that she... Um, oh. She has not boyfriend. Oh, ah. God. Is is difficult with the pandemic. <laughs> but we can we can find find ways, you know. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> okay, all right. Nati, you wanted to say something? Yes, teacher. Uh, one of my partners uh, has a very excellent job. Something that I admire it too much because it's one one of my favorite sports is swimming. He's a lifeguard. Ah, so he has to swim a lot. Yes, a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Okay, well, okay. Well, we're going to pause right there then. If there are no other comments, Carla or Ronald, do you want to say anything?
I okay. just want to say <laughs> that Ronald has to keep me some tips because I can float <laughs> in his. <laughs> yeah, it's just all, that's the only thing. <laughs> okay. Okay. There. So I guess he's the one who can swim. Yes, Ronald? Yes. Uh, um, we were uh, talking about the the center uh, boat center. Um, they they were um, the different centers of boats yesterday for to uh, the election. Okay. Election the. The, the deputados, mm -hmm. but they saw uh, different uh, problems in workplaces, but uh, small problems, no, no big problems. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, great. Well, we're going to pause right there and we're gonna continue again tomorrow. So I hope you have a great night and I see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. You. You're bye. Also. Bye. 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 bye.